What's up, guys? I'm Zed, and this is episode 4 of the Kaito Naga Create a Player Career Mode on FIFA 23. Last episode was fairly, was fairly good and fairly bad for us because we kind of had mixed feelings about the whole thing. I mean, Juventus really, really frustrated us in the previous episode, and then our international matches were really, really good for us. And I think I scored five goals in that match. I really can't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's long gone from my head how many goals he scored. Well, it should be around five or six for the international international matches. And the the craziest thing about all of this is that is that um in the first season, which was like two episodes ago, we ended the we, we ended the the episode with twenty one goals to our name. And last episode which is just like half the season we were able to rack forty one goals that is fucking crazy. So we're able to rack, I mean, that's 20 more goals. And I mean, 20 goals is basically almost, almost, um, 20 goals is basically almost all we got from last season. And the fact that we got that in just half the season, that is really insane in itself. So we're going straight into the matches here, or rather straight into the video. Basically, there's not really a match that's coming up for now. Um, no training job, so let's see what we have we are currently second place on on goal scored in the league um rashford is, dead, is 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 leading the golden boot race but not for long i tell you um so our first match is going to be this one against lazio okay my controller just fucking died once again does that like twice just now i don't know why the fuck the thing is shaking my cord is shaking actually because it's currently plugged right now so I think I'm just going to drop down a little bit just so that it doesn't stretch and all. So, I mean, I'm going to be like this for majority of the video, so sorry about that. I mean, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, I'm sitting to the Lazio match. We have like a whole week before that, so I think I would stop just a little bit, just a little bit um, before the Lazio match. So, I'll be able to get that to um, the two training drills and, and, and stuff. So, the first match of this episode is going to be against Empoli. Yeah, that's Empoli. So hopefully our team can win it. Our team has been doing really well in the Sims, and there you have it. Yet again, we we defeat them three 0 and I'm hoping my player is one of those players. Let's let's check it out. Yeah, we're actually one of the players that scored. Our goals is now up to forty two. So we got just one goal in that match. That's that's okay. And well, we have a training session now, and I'm, I mean we're going deep into the starting eleven. To be honest, I mean we. We are 82 rated, 83 rated, and the coach, I mean, the coach is not, does not have anyone better to play this team, because, okay, learn, learn, right now, what team is from Wolves, I mean, Wolves is actually a good opportunity to go to the, the Premier League, I would want to go to Wolves, just that I don't want to go to, to any team, like, in January, I mean, Juventus have been frustrating me, but I mean, that's, at least we're still getting goals, so I think that I can actually still stay here, we're second in the league, we're far, far away from Inter Milan, that's, that sucks, but the first match we're playing is going to be this one against Lazio. I'm not going to be playing the full match, it's just the the um, highlights, and hopefully our team is going to be able to do something there. I'm going to be doing the attacking only highlights because <laughs> um, I I mean we lose a lot when it's just attacking only highlights. It's just that I don't want to be using the whole team because I feel like uh. I don't know. I just feel like it's not fair for some reason. I mean, we haven't really been, been winning, but it's just that um, I want to um, experience this entire series with using just my player. And if we lose, we lose. So I want, I want to keep it that way. As far as I score, I think I'm good. And yeah, I think I, I think I will be good with just um, the, the playable highlights. So I think we've done the stranger already. Yeah. So we are close to level 26. Just. A couple good performances away. Yeah, we bought Juventus bought um Darwin Nunez in the last in the last episode, so that was that was really interesting. And let's see what he will be able to add to the team now. I really hope that he's going to be able to add something good. So I mean, he might probably get a goal in this match. This will be his first. I mean, no, not his first match because we've already played one match. Okay, so we are. Growing up against Lazio, I don't think we have actually beaten them because every single time we played them, it was the playable highlight we did, and they beat us unfairly every single time. I, I wouldn't say unfairly because it's actually really unfair how they beat us. 
but let's hope that that's not the case in this match. Let's hope that the defense, the AI actually does does good enough in the defense. So we have a first opportunity here in the 26th minute. I'm kind of far away from the goal, but I will still make a run for it here. And Kovacic loses the ball straight up. And this should be a better opportunity. Let's hope that we, in fact, score this one. Alright, so we do score it. Darwin Nunez gets the goal. I call for the pass, but he passed to Nunez. I mean, I have no problem with that at all. So we do go 1-0 up. And uh, let's hope that the, they have equalized. They have not. Alright, so this is a normal attack. So we have to be patient here. Grealish is on the ball. And this might just be a very good opportunity for us. And we put ourselves in a very, very great position there. And... That was a really fucking good one. I, I really wish we could see the replay of that. That was fucking sweet, man. And, well, 2 0 up. And, yeah, they have scored, which means that, to be honest, I feel like we absolutely have to um, make the most of all of our opportunities to be able to do something. And, we might have a goal here, and that's a good shot, but it does not end up with a goal. It's still 2 1. We have a solo run. Alright, so I see Chiesa up there. So, this might be a good chance for him to score a goal. So, hopefully he scores it and doesn't fuck up. He actually fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> he actually fucked up. So, they have a crossing opportunity. I mean, that was our chance to go um, two goals up. And if they score, I will absolutely blame Chiesa because I don't know what the fuck he was doing, to be honest. Alright. Chesney, that was a good save from him, and please, oh, they do. I mean, it was, it was, it was inevitable. I just, I just knew that that shit was going to happen. So Chiesa robbed us, robbed us of our assist with whatever the fuck that finish was at the end, and um, we actually deserve to win this match again because I feel like we actually did really well. Even though I just saw the attacking options and all that, I feel like we actually did really, really well, and we deserve the win. So, I mean, our team is, is looking better because, I mean, at the very least, we did not lose the match. The, the defense didn't fuck up and I didn't end that match seeing 4-2 or, like, or something like that. But we did really well. We got two out of the three objectives and I didn't see our um, level then. We should be closer to the to 26 here, which yeah, we definitely are closer. We have two more goals to our name, two, two goals scored in this episode alone. And I feel like I want to play this one against Torino. Well, let's look at what we have after this quick, real quick. We have the first match in the round of 16. That's going to be our first time in the round of 16 in the... That's going to be our first time in knockout stages in the Champions League. And, you know, I think I'm going to play this Torino match real quick. Or I will sim the match because I feel like if I simulate it, like the normal quick sim, um, we, are most, we are most definitely going to win the match. So... This match again to this team, I don't know, I, I think that's Udinese, I'm not sure, but we do win it 4-1. Um, really good performance from our team, and I feel like we should we should have gotten a goal there. So, we have the match against them. Against that team, can't remember what team it is, but this one, okay, yeah, we are done. So, we have £473,000 going straight into our, into our accounts now. And I think I think I'm pretty much done with the um, investment. I don't think there's anything I really I'm really interested in doing right now. I mean, the ones I'm interested in doing have to be okay. So we could we could go for this one: invest in tech startup, invest in music industry. Okay, this is this might actually have a really good gain to it. Six forty three thousand. I invest three forty four. I get all right. So I think I think. Um, the stock market is high, so there's every possibility I might lose all my money. Um, I think I might go for the restaurant chain, because I, I think it, it just has the highest amount of gain. So that's what I would go for. It's not that much. I didn't I, I didn't look at how many how many months I would have to wait for that, but I mean, it shouldn't really be that much. So I'm training to get ourselves to the peak of the starting level. We have one more training, training drill or good match performance left to get to the next... Um, level. Um, oh, I wanted to um, simulate the match. So let's hope that we score. Fingers crossed to get a goal in this match. We do not win it. We get knocked out, as you guys can see. 
fucking hell. We do get the goal though, 78 minutes, and then they came back and scored straight off the bat in, 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 in the 80th minute, and we went on and lost two penalties. Just want to uh, raise this up a little bit. Alright, so we're good. Sorry about that. I mean, we scored, but it sucks that we, we immediately get, like, get out of the um, Coppa Italia. That's one trophy that we we still haven't won. Okay, activities here. We have tournament match lost. We just have to go again. Talk to your agent about moving to a more successful club. That's going to be a very bitch move. Uh, we just have to go again now. Okay, remind everyone in the dressing room that the team has to recover now. If we don't win, make sure we learn. Okay, that I think that's that's visible to what I would want to say. All right, we actually made it to um, level twenty-six, as you guys can see in the top top right corner over there, and we have four skill points. So, I mean, now that I'm done with all of the um, archetypes that I'm interested in getting. What's next for me is to actually work on my player, him, like the player himself. And I feel like I want, I mean, our, our long shots, our shot power, I mean, we could definitely do a lot better than what it is right now. And this this one will cost three, one rather. We have four skill points. And okay, this will actually work on our shot power and our free accuracy. So I think I, I, I would go for that. So we have one more skill point to to um work with, and I could increase my show power to eighty three here, but I think I think I I should branch out to something else, like passing dribbling. I think I think I would be more comfortable working on our dribbling. The ball control, I need that. I think I think it's ball control I would work with for now. So yeah. And I think we should be at 84 with all that. Yeah, definitely. So we can we can um, get our um, what do you call it? The wage increase. So so our wage. Okay. So we start. We're going to start getting 17,500 a, a a week now. So that is good. So in a month we get about um, over 90 over 90,000 in a month. So I think I, th I think that is good enough. That is definitely good enough. Sorry, a little over 60,000. What the fuck? Yeah, I mean, math is really not my strong suit. But. Alright, so we're simming to the Barcelona match. I'm not going to be doing any training drills. Let's hope that the, the, the player actually does a lot better in the simulator in the simulated matches um, but we're actually doing really really fucking well in the league that's a 3-1 win against genoa we're out of the transfer window in a couple seconds now yeah we are out and next up we have a match against that team that i do not know about then we have it's a 3-0 win i mean i would want to uh simulate i would want to um simulate all through but i i really need to be working really hard with the with the training drills so that I would be able to um, so, so I'll be able to get a couple um, skill points faster so 30 days remaining for this restaurant chain, chain thing we have a media interview part 2 I don't know why I say part 2 um, great, great dressing room spirits what does Maverick say the manager knows how to handle players tell the media that you think the boss is good at handling individuals getting the best out of a skillful player like you I mean that's a little bit proud but I think I would definitely go for that because I mean he actually is bringing the best out of out of me even though I, I, I feel like I'm doing most of the work myself because I'm literally doing all the work myself <laughs> but um, yeah we have a training drill and I mean, I mean, the stuff is going really slow now. It's really expected because the, the higher you go, the harder it is to improve. But I mean, it's really good that um, we're not stuck at level 25 anymore. We are level 26 now. And we've done, we've done relatively well. This is, I actually would love to see how many goals we've scored. So I would do that in a bit. We have a match against Torino. We, we lost to them in the in the um in the Coppa Italia and kind of sucks that <sighs> what the fuck 
we're the we're the actual fuck. We we get injured, we get injured, and we are out for two fucking months. So that's that is that is bad. That is fucking bad. I really don't know what to say because I was really looking forward to playing in knockout football in the Champions League, and just like that, it's it's taking it's taking far far away from me. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? Just like that, it's taking it. It's, can you like stop misbehaving, please? Just like that, it's taking away from me. And I don't know if that thing um, increased or not. But I mean, with this, we're definitely going to be dropping way, way down to um, the sub region by the time we're done with the two months. So, personality tier. Okay, I'm. Um, um, Fix up meeting with the boss to say you'd be happy to do extra training to help turn results around. Okay, I think I will do that. Get a couple of virtuoso points going. And I mean we should be done with our investment by the time by the time we're done with this. So I mean it really, really fucking sucks that we're not going to be able to get a win. It, re it really sucks that we're not going to be able to get a win in the um Sorry, we won't be able to play in the knockout football. So I can only hope that my team does really fucking well in the knockout stages and we are able and we're able to get ourselves to um we're able to get ourselves to the um knockout stage so we're still I, I we're still going to be able to play knockout stage too but sorry i was looking at i'm looking for my player in this european qualifiers we are number six no guard with two goals in norway for the European qualifiers, we have scored more goals than that for Norway in general. We are still second place for the Golden Boots. Rashford is running away 25 goals in 25 games. That is really fucking good for him. And what do we have? I think I think I want to um, remove the under kit for a bit. And yeah, I want to change. I want to change our celebration for when we we come back to the team. So. I mean, the gritty sound like a really good celebration to do, and everything is actually scattered from what I know normally. So I mean, there's I can't hear you. There's the hearts, hearts rather, little brother has Mbappe celebration. All right, so I do go with this one eye celebration. It's not really all that. It's just a normal celebration, but that's what I want to be going for now. I actually wanted to go for the Dybala celebration by. I didn't feel like I, I I needed to do that. So now we can only simulate like a couple months ahead. But I would go to the first to see if I will be able to train, and if I can keep myself in our starting eleven while we are while um, I'm not playing. So we lose in the first leg against Barcelona. That is not good. Um, I mean we're at home at that, and we draw to AC Milan. Inter Milan is up next. Hopefully we can snatch a win for them and get closer to them. No, we don't. We lose the match 2-1. <sighs> that sucks, but really nothing we can do about it. So we are now at the first. Let's see what, what has happened in this season exactly. So we have 51 days to go. I wonder why. Okay, we, yeah, we, we haven't even gone that much. Um, Can we train? We should. I, I really hope that we are able to train the Read a book by Club Legend. I'll just do that real quick. I get a couple of virtuoso points, 10 Harvey points. And let's go back to the training. I would like to see how many goals I have scored so far though. Uh, okay, so I want to see if this actually makes a difference. So I'm keeping an eye on that bar on the top right to see if it actually moves. And I'm really hoping that it does move though. So, okay, so the last one is the set piece. PK against goalkeeper. And I'm keeping an eye on it. So, okay, it does move. So, I mean... Uh, our, our training is actually rather important so i mean i'm i'm not going to train that much though because i want to sim through the injury as fast as possible because i really don't want to be stuck in a fucking injury because that's just going to be so annoying so okay we are set up for two months that's that's the news and i think i think this will be the thumbnail yes yeah, definitely thumbnail worthy worthy but why is there a loan offer submitted juventus must decide on their next move after a loan offer was made for white man the 19, okay, so it's a loan offer from Athletic Club. I'm not really, I'm not really that much interested in that, to be honest. I'm really, really not interested in it at all. Let's go with one month ahead. I will do the next training drill after a month, and then after that month, I will now start um doing the training drills every week. 
and be simulating through the matches. So we are out of the Champions League. We're not able to um, play Champions League knockout football this season. Sad for us. And I mean, I don't know why I had to go and get another fucking injury. So that's the second injury in two seasons. And, and, and they're not actually um, small injuries. And yeah, we also lose out in, in the Argentina match. But, what, but why is it there? How come the coach called us to play if we are injured? Yeah, we are so injured, so we can't actually play the match. But since I've already stopped, I might as well just do a, 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 a training drill. And yeah, I have to do this fucking shit again. Great. And yeah, it's actually, it's actually a good thing I stopped it because uh, we need... I need to stay... Um, oh, it doesn't even move, I forgot. It doesn't move when you're injured. The um, manager confidentiality bar. I have no idea what that bar is called. I'm just going to call it manager confidentiality because, I mean, it's just the easiest thing to say. It ma makes the most sense. Well, I'll say manager trust. I, I think that might be better. So we have a couple activities here. Our investments should be over by now. Right? Where is it at? Okay, so it's ready. And we get a lot of money in return. I mean, it's not as much as I expected to get. But now we have 819. And we could probably invest in something bigger. So 559 and we get... 643 back and i think i'm going to do that 30 days so just one month so i mean by the end of our injury we should be able to get that that um return on the investment so i mean it says play match but i don't think i can play i can just simulate it so let's hope that we do win the match it's the we actually lose it so that sucks we lose to wales i mean our team like the the norway team is not all that so i mean it's really understandable that they would lose to wales but if I was there, they definitely, they, they definitely would not have lost that much. So, what do we have next? We have 30 days to go. And that is basically the 24th of April. So, wait, so after this, we now have like just four matches to go. So, we, we can only play four matches before I end the episode. So, I mean, that is just one way to go through an episode fast. Just get a fucking injury. And... I actually have no clue where we are in the in the starting lineup. Sorry, in the um league. But I mean we're winning the matches that we should be winning. The only matches we're not winning are against um Inter Milan and AC Milan. I don't know if we won against Napoli there, or did we even we fucking lose to Torino? What the hell? What the actual fuck? But match against Bergamo Culture now and we won that match 2-0. I'm interested to to see where we are in the in the Okay, so we're actually done with the injury, though. Okay, so retirement gift for Bonucci available in six days, so we can't do that right now. Read a book about your blah blah blah, and the investment thing we're done with that. I, I mean, it looks like there is a new investment thing, and we actually lose money. We actually fucking lose money. That is that is so sad, and the risk is fucking low. So how the hell did we even lose money at all? crap that is that, that is not good that is not fucking good at all but anyways let's put that behind us and let's try and do something good i mean we're we are down 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 in the sub region and all right so let's see if there's any news about us coming back eventually to triumph over bergamo Noga of us submitted okay this one is supposed to be to aston villa but that's not really important. I mean, Aston Villa is a really good team for me to go to. If they actually, if I actually get an offer from for them, I would actually prefer to go to Aston Villa than stay at Juventus because I feel like um, I might actually get a couple chances, like a couple better chances there. I think. I think. <laughs> so, anyways, um, our next match is going to be against that team. I have no idea who they are, but. Learn of a reminder for Aston Villa. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I don't want to be loaned out to anybody. But you know what? I, th I, I think I might actually want to do that. I think I might actually want to do that. So let me check where Aston Villa is. I think there should be a way to look at um, other leagues and stuff like that. And yeah, I forgot to check where we are on the in the Syria. Aston Villa is currently eighth, so they wouldn't they wouldn't mind. 
right they wouldn't mind if i come to that team i might i might help them out a whole a whole lot so i think i would accept that offer so we're, we're going to be going to aston villa for a season and we are currently on 48 goals that's not really really what i was expecting from my player this season i mean it's it's a fucking injury it messes with every fucking thing out there so um all right so where are we right now what what am i supposed to do i can't remember yeah i was supposed to check this we are still okay we have four matches it's four matches left and inter milan we're, we're pretty clear from ac milan not that clear but it's just like eight points and then against inter milan we are five points behind them that is really interesting which means uh there's still a possibility that we do win this league so um let me just accept this offer real quick 82,000 per week that is crazy <laughs> that is a lot of money that is a lot of fucking money so that is almost almost 400k we do agree to go to aston villa on loan so i mean i don't know if it's, i don't know if that's one one season sorry i don't know if that's one season or not but let's see if we do make the news with that um do we no god loan bit accepted so we do make the news though but i mean it's not a picture that i would want to see my client is very excited about the opportunity to play for aston villa hopefully it will enable him to grow and develop as a player i mean i don't really need the loan i really don't need the loan to be honest because i mean we're basically a starter for 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 juventus and the only reason that i am even um accepting the loan is because i just want a change of scenery i know if we do win the the scudetto in this season that will be that would be insane that would be fucking insane so um i'm going to be playing this match we're coming in in the 78th minute so i mean we should have oh we bought odegaard that is interesting so we have odegaard um nunez kolesevsky i'm playing with the left this time around it's not really my ideal position but that's what i'm playing arthur pellegrini is is the only person that i that that shouldn't be at an that shouldn't be over 80 in this team yeah, and Chesney, I don't know why we're not playing Chesney. I don't know why the fuck we're playing um, um, Perrin. I don't know why the fuck the manager is doing that. I mean, that's exactly why he keeps on having low fucking performances and shit. Picking the wrong fucking players to be playing in matches. Because I really think that Chesney is still in this team. I really, I really, really think that is the case. But anyways, that's not important right now. What is important is that we have a... Not that big match, but this is the first match we're playing coming off from coming out of the injury and it's against a team that i have forgotten their name once again so two shots on target get a pass success rate of 50 percent i'm going to enhance that one and why the hell is the pitch so fucking dark do we get a goal yes we do get a goal so that is the second goal for the team i don't know why this guy does loves to kick balls <laughs> i mean i mean i wasn't controlling him i don't know why he just went there on his own accord to go and kick the fucking ball i mean I mean, he's happy to do that, so why not let him? Anyway, so that was a really good goal. I don't, I, I don't know who scored it. Maybe it was Masrari. Really good header. The keeper had no fucking chance for that. I really don't understand why the pitch is so dark, though. But um, let's hope that we can, we can get a goal. Oh, we're three 0 up. Uh, I, I really would want to get a goal in my return. So let's just hope that that's, that in fact will be the case. And if we'd not get all the way to um, the, oh my god, this guy took like all the time in the fucking world. Thank you for that, Nunez. And who's there? Nobody. Please score it. And no one is there for the team. Please score it. You are free. And that is... A really good assist from us and he was offside because shoot the ball <laughs> yeah, he was definitely going for the ball again but i i caught him there and quickly turned it around so four nil against spezia we have one assist i think an assist might just be okay for me if we don't get a goal i mean at least we do get an assist and we are definitely over the 6.5 rating that the manager expects from us but i mean getting a goal wouldn't really hurt and please score it and that is just too fucking high i mean i probably could have scored if i just shot it normally i don't know why the fuck i i went to go and chip it but i mean shit happens and we could probably still get one more 
one more opportunity for a goal. Uh, a good header, but it goes straight to the opposition there. And they are on goal, but we should be able to stop this. Yeah, we definitely are able to stop it. So, I mean, it's somewhat of a counter-attack right now. So, Grealish, I'm counting on you. Thank you for that. And I see Nunes for a second goal. And, yeah, that's good. So, that's two assists right off the bench. Two fucking assists right off the bench. That is crazy. And Nunes should be having the game of his life right now with two... Two really, really good goals, assisted by me at that. So let's see. I mean, we could, we probably are still going to be able to get our our goal because I mean, this match is so fucking easy. And, and the fact is that we are we actually playing ultimate. We actually playing ultimate, and I guess just that our team is just way better than them. All I need is for us to get the ball, and then we probably will be in on goal because they actually committed a lot of players forward and. That, that is not particularly good. So if he gives Nunes here, I should be able to... Alright, so Nunes, please don't fuck this up. Please don't fuck this up. Please, oh my god, oh my god, you just had to fucking pass it back to me. You just had to pass it back to me. But that is so not fair. After everything, I, after the assist I did, I did not... I mean, that was a really good chance at that. That was a really fucking good chance at that. Alright, so... We have a chance here. Outside foot and oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. With really the outside of my foot as well. That was really good technique with my new balance boots, by the way. You guys should definitely buy new balance boots. Not like they're sponsoring me or anything, but I mean really, for the sake of the series they are sponsoring me, so get your new balance boots and stuff. Okay, so we probably don't have time to get a goal anymore. Or do we? Ah uh, no, it's, it's long gone now. Oh, come on, that was a foul. That was that that should have definitely been a foul. But no chance for a goal. But don't tell me that this match is six minutes per half. Because I mean, I, I know I changed it to six minutes when I was I was playing the normal kickoff game. I didn't really think that it would roll over to the series, to the career mode. That, that's weird. All right, so we did get two assists. That's that's relatively good enough. Um, I really would have wanted a goal, but a lot of time has been taken out of our career this time again, and that sucks. Hopefully, we do not get an injury every fucking season because that that would just mean our journey to 800 goals is going to be so fucking hard. We haven't even made it to 50 yet, so I mean, we probably might be able to make it to 50 by the end of this episode. Oh, we have just three matches left, so there's no way we're, we're making it to 50 because I think we're on 43. Oh, well, we're on 48 rather, so we definitely should be able to make it to 50 if I'm not if I'm not wrong at all. Um, let's let's check it out. So we do get um a little bit of um what do you call it? Manager confidence. I'm, I mean, I'm just going to call it that. I have no idea what it's called. Please, if you guys do know what it's called, please let me know. Um. What's next? The next match is against who exactly? Against Hellas Verona. So, chill. Do we have a training drill? No, we don't. So, um, activities, music indus industry. Okay, that one is ready again. Um, I could, I could um invest in it once again. Let's hope that it doesn't, it doesn't fuck me up. So decisions, poor manager performance, retirement gift for Bonucci. Okay, that cost me seventeen two hundred. But I really can't wait to go to Aston Villa because our um our wage eighty seven or eighty two eighty seven or eighty two I can't remember. But I mean that that would have been fucking crazy. That would be fucking crazy to get. Um, so just suggest that the team are trying hard but don't understand the manager's tactics. And I, I really wouldn't do that. Say the squad still believes in what the coach is trying to do. I mean I. I mean, I'm okay with him saying that. So, okay, next match against Hellas Verona. I'm, I'm going to be playing that one too, but let's check this out real quick. I want to see if the thing actually went up to six minutes. It did not. Yeah, the match was moving um, slow, so it was actually kind of weird. I thought that it, it, it actually changed to six minutes, but it did not. All right, so Hellas Verona, we are coming to you. Let's see how many goals we have. I doubt, I doubt we have gone over 48. Yeah, we are still on 48. 48 and 9 assists. 
I really can't wait for us to get to 50 career goals. That would be that would be an impressive mile, milestone. And in two seasons, that is that would be really fucking insane. So, um, calendar, what do we have? We have Bologna, then Monza next up after this match against Las Verona. So I will be starting this match. Or I'm not starting, rather, I will be I will be playing this match. We're coming in as a right winger for Kulisevsky in the 61st minute. So I mean we definitely have a lot of time to score a couple goals, maybe one or two. I mean we are definitely a super sub. You can you guys can definitely tell from our matches at Norway. Because I mean we absolutely fucking kill those matches every single fucking time. And we score a lot of goals at that. I mean it's sad that I really don't know how many goals I've scored for Norway. But um I think I'm just going to give up on counting and just be happy that we do score and if I mean, I'm not exactly 100% sure if it's not if it's not being counted. So the next time I score for Norway, hopefully I remember. The next time I score for Norway, I will definitely immediately check the um uh the career goal see if it if it um increases. So I'll call for the ball here, even though I'm not really all that good at heading. But we should be able to get this, and yeah, it's a shot on target. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't even know what it was on target or not, though. All right, so Nunes can't get. What? What? Why the hell would you pass back? Why the hell would you pass back in that situation? I mean, you were in on goal. All you needed, to, all you needed to do was to control it and shoot it. This is exactly why I I never used to assist because that kind of shit always happens. But I mean, Nunes did impress me last season, last last match rather. Sorry. All right, so we lose the ball. Oh, we're, we're actually um level on goals oh my days come on guys come on guys you can do this all right so we break free and man has completely spoiled my please give me the ball thank you that's a really good goal really good tapping at that from kaito norgard i think marquinhos was the one that assisted that's really weird that he was he was in front there but I mean, a goal is a goal. It was actually him that assisted. That was a really good pass to pick me out. And really good goal with his weaker foot. So we are 1 0 up against Hellas, Hellas Verona. Super sub, like I said, we are definitely a super sub. We're going to be scoring. I really hope that we are going to be able to score a lot of goals in Aston Villa, to be honest. Because I mean, it's going to be our first, uh, our first glimpse of Premier League action. And Premier League is really fucking tough. So it will, it will, be, it will be fun if we are able to. Uh, do really well in Aston Villa. Hopefully, hopefully we do. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really hoping that we do. All right, so let's. Please, that is a really good fucking save. Really good save to keep us in front. And all right, so we have a corner, which means possible counter attack if our team is just able to get us the ball. And the keeper was legit like, sleeping there. What the hell was he doing? What the actual hell was he doing? Alright, we are... Alright, so Darwin Nunez was not able to hold the ball, but are we going to be able to keep possession here? The keeper just wastes that. I mean, we were pressing him, so it's understandable that he would do that. So... Okay, that was good just was not anticipating snapshots and what the hell was that all right so it was a deflection i thought i, th I, th I thought the shot was just that bad or was it oh yeah it was a deflection i thought i thought i actually fucked that up really really bad and yeah i, I wanted him to pass on the ground the man went to, to to give me a fucking thrill up higher than my fucking head at that but uh, whatever. Okay, so let's just hope that we are able to keep keep this match at bay. That would be really nice. Please just get the ball. Damn, that was that was that that was rather scary to be honest. But um, we we do end up with a goal kick. That's good. And the keeper just gives it to me. And we win the header, but it's yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a very good one. 
Okay, please come on, guys. Okay, let's see how we can help Arthur out here. Please, oh my God, we just were not able to to get that on target. Let's try and help out Grealish here, and okay, so keeper goes. Yeah, once again, he boots it far, far away from from danger. And let's see what options we have now. That was a really good pass to pick pick me out, and I. I mean, you guys can definitely do better than, than this, to be honest. Okay, so... Uh, uh, why why did you just pass back? Because, I mean, the AI can be, so, can be so fucking dumb sometimes, like, to be honest. Like, it actually shocks me how, how illiterate they can be sometimes. So, we do not end up with the ball there, which is what I would have loved. But we do intercept... I swear to God, if these guys score, that would... The parent is literally saving our asses right now. But can the, can the team actually just do shit that makes sense? Like, come on, guys. Like, life is, not, is really not that hard. I swear to God, if these guys score, I'm going to be so pissed. Because I really don't understand what the AI is doing. I really don't fucking understand what the AI is doing right now. I really don't understand why FIFA is trying to screw, is trying to screw me over. Makes makes no fucking sense. Makes no fucking sense. All right, so they do have a corner, so a possible counter attack for us if we are the keeper is even out. So I'm really hoping that we do end up with the ball here, which we do, which we fucking do, which we fucking do. The referee couldn't just the referee like magic could not just help us out there. I mean, he that's that's fucking stupid. That is fucking stupid. It is fucking stupid. We do get the man of the match though. We didn't exactly get over an 8.0 match rating, but I think the manager wanted us to get 7.5, so we're good. Yeah, we are good. So we are close to that um, starting 11 mark, and we are also close to to the. Um, the 50 goal mark we're on 49 goals now so i mean it would, it would definitely be interesting to see us grab that that goal in this coming match milan crown champions all right so we wait what i thought i, I thought it was inter milan that was okay the the coppa italia sorry i forgot i forgot i, I forgot that this that was completely different so uh we are just three points behind inter milan so there's still every possibility that we can actually go ahead. Victory in the derby, I don't really understand how that was a fucking derby though. But tell the media um, how happy you are. You always save your best performances for the derby. Okay, I mean, that is true. Because we actually do really, really, really well. We actually do really, really well in that match. Even though it really wasn't a derby, I really don't see how the fucking match against Hellas Verona is a fucking derby. Unless it is, because I, I mean, I actually don't know anything about... Um, I don't know anything about uh, Syria and their rivalries and stuff like that. But we are playing the attack only. Sorry, we're, sorry about that. We are playing the attack only highlights for. I've been, I've been leaning in seriously. We're, we're playing the attack only highlights for this one. So I'm, I'm really hoping that we are going to be able to give a very good performance. Um, we're coming in in the 60 something minutes or the 50 something minutes. I really can't remember. And I think I also forgot to do a training drill. But we're going to enhance none of this. I'm, I'm going to sim skip everything. It, it didn't say we should get one goal. So, I mean, I should be able to get at least one goal. Corner kick for Juventus. Alright, so let's see if we're going to be able to get a header on this. Can someone get on the end of it? We don't, but do we still have the ball? We do, and no, it, it just it, it gets stolen from us. Crushing opportunity for Juventus. All right, this this looks rather interesting. So let's hope that the, the game doesn't actually screw me over. And yeah, they do. They actually hold me, and I'm not able to um, progress. But this is a good opportunity, though. Let's see if 
we can actually all right so nothing happens there as well so we do end the match and it's a one-all draw all of the chances were fucking wasted by my their teammates from juventus and that's a very very fucking bad performance the only thing I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for is that um, Inter Milan actually do not do well. They actually lost. They actually fucking lost. So if we won it, if we won that match, we actually would have been... Oh my god. Now, I really wish that I, I just played the, norm, the match normally, to be honest. Because how the hell are we going to lose? That's not even fair. That's not even fair, to be honest. Retirement gift for Bonucci, I already, I already did that. This is available in 13 days. I already, um, I already did that though. Did I not? I mean, they took money from my account. All right, so we have another four four skill points, and we can probably get ourselves up to a to 185 with this. We should be able to. All right, so I still want to work. I worked on bulk, on on ball control the last time. And I think I might want to get my skills up to, to 5 star, but just not yet. Attacking position is not all that. Um, agility, attacking position, this one works with ball control and dribbling. Our dribbling is really fucking crazy right now, though. But I want to work on agility, but I have no idea where the hell, hell it is, though. Because our, our agility can't just stop at 85, can it? Alright, so we can get agility from this. That goes to 88, and then I will just do the second one. And our agility now is on eight, is on 92, so that is good. That is good enough. I, I, I'm okay with that. So we are now an 85 rated player. That is insane. In just two seasons, we have gone, we have gone absolutely fucking ballistic. And, well, the next match is going to be against Monza. That's also going to be the final match of of this episode and the final match of, of the season at that so summer break available in one day retirement stuff blah 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 all right so i mean if it's going to be available in, if it's not available what the hell are you putting there but whatever um we get to train and we don't make it to the starting 11 that sucks but we are Alright, so if we can only hope that Inter Milan loses their next match, and let's just hope it's against a big team. Alright, so they're away against Bologna, and Bologna is freaking 18th on the table. Huh. Anyway, but I mean, I will know the, the result of that match if we do win at the end of this. We're coming in for Kulusevski in the um, second, in the 60th minute coming in, in our favorite position the right and uh, I saw that Darwin Nunez already got two goals so I mean I might want to get him in, get him a hat trick and then I might also want to get a couple goals for myself I mean I probably will be able to get a couple goals for my for myself we're going up against Monza I really don't know how good they are I don't even know where they are on the fucking table so conversion rate of 50 percent and how to 60 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to um, do any one of those. I'm not going to enhance any one of those. Let's just hope for a good... Please cross it. Thank you. And we just aren't able to do anything with that. Please score it. And yeah, that's, that, that's, that is weaker foot. So, I mean, I don't understand the that that goes high. But that was a really fucking good opportunity for him to score. But now we have... Alright, so this might be a good opportunity. Um, I really wish that I could actually just control the team, like those tactic things, like the pressing stuff and, and shit, because I mean, they act like they are moves, to be honest. Because, <laughs> I mean, bro, these guys, I mean, they're, they're a lot better than the way they play. And the thing is that if I'm using the, the fucking AI, if I'm playing against the AI, these guys are going to be playing like fucking beasts. But when, when they're in my team, they just act like. They don't have any fucking sense at all. So it's so it's so it's so annoying. I know. So right. So that is another another corner. Let me set myself up here for the counter attack. Hopefully we do get it. Yeah, we do get the ball, so we can boost. 
got long left now, and I just wonder if we're going to have one last twist before the season is over. All right, so that that was good. Hopefully, Nunes gets the goal. And that, is, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. Damn. But, I mean, we can only go again. But it's up, so there's really nothing to worry about. I'm, like, I'm just really, really, really fucking hoping right now that uh, Inter Milan, please, score it. Alright, that was a bit. Okay, so what does Juventus fucking have for me right now? And it's a good shot on goal on target, but the keeper is just not able to do anything with that. Chiesa, come on, go and press. <sighs> they could do a lot better. They could do a lot better, to be honest. But, alright, so we do get the ball there. And Chiesa, that is. Alright, so. I mean, don't you think that it would have been better to return the ball back to me, Mr. Chiesa? Alright, let's try and hold him here. And we are not able to do that. But. Bad pass from me. Thank you. Alright, please get your, get your hat trick. It's the fact that I'm so generous to this to this um Darwin Nunes guy when I could just like do it myself. But whatever. Man. <laughs> that was straight down the keeper's throw, but the power was just too much and that was a fucking crazy goal. That was a fucking crazy goal. Really, really powerful at that. 131.4 top speed. I mean, it literally pushed the keeper to the side. <laughs> uh, that was that was a really good goal. All right, so we have uh, like 12 more minutes to play, and we do get our goal. I mean, that's what I've been looking for. Come on, Alex. And we just aren't able to get through both defenders. I mean, I, I could have probably done another skill to be able to get past there, but I just wasn't able to. I really hope that this guy gets a better keeper because I really don't understand why the hell we're, we're playing fucking Perrin. To be honest, I really don't know. I really don't know why. And and I don't know why you passed me there. That was a very uncomfortable thing. And 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 Keza was was like free. But whatever. Please just get. Just get, just get the ball, please. Thank you. All right. So, giving to key. What the hell was that pass? Come on, what the actual hell was that pass? I mean, we're doing all that we can to to get um, a clean sheet, just in case um, the goal difference starts for us and Inter Milan happen to be uh, sort of the same. Come on, give me the ball, give me the ball, my god. You could just have, you could have just thrown it. You could have just thrown it. Alright, so we still, we're able to keep the ball. Good play. And... It's so, it's so fucking tiring. It's so, it's so fucking tiring, to be honest. Alright, we do get the ball. It tra it chance to drive and shoot. I could have probably passed, but I, I, I was sick and tired of this team, to be honest, and that that was my big idea. So, I think we're supposed to get an 8.5 rating, but um, we are just going to fall short of that. Unless we get another goal or another assist. I mean, we did really well for what's his face. Nunes, please give it to Keza. Don't, don't pass it back to me. Thank you. Please, play it straight. Oh my god, oh my god. Why the hell is Nunes trying to fuck my game up? I mean, I obviously called for the pass. You could have at least dropped towards the right or something. <sighs> Fucking bullshit. That was a loose pass, but let's see if we are still able to get one more goal in this match. It's highly unlikely though, because the time runs like a fucking bitch and the referee does not give mercy to anyone at all. Yeah, we can just keep it in our 
in our, in our, in our half. Alright, so that was a good match. But from the scenes here, we don't look like it doesn't look like we have won. The Monza guys are, are have already going home. So I mean, it, it really doesn't look like we have won, to be honest. So um, it was a good game, though. We got a goal. We could have gotten Nunes a third goal, but the guy just, just doesn't. I mean, I don't know why the fuck he missed that opportunity, to be honest. And he he he, he now like fucked up our our second goal. And and depending on circumstances, we actually could have been able to um to um lay lay that ball back to him for him to get his hat trick but i mean you know no one really thinks that far <laughs> but i mean he does get the man of the match too i mean he does get two goals and he did get a couple shots on targets after that so we do make it to the um to the starting level although that's basically the end of the season we're not really going to be needing that anymore but we did score a goal which means that we actually get our um 50th goal golden boot for marksman rashford oh yeah yeah he does yeah he, he does get the golden boots and we do not get to be in this team of the tournament i do not really like that but we have gotten 50 goals but there's nothing on the news i think i think that that should be because uh the milestone thing is 100 but we have gotten 50 goals in our career and that injury just completely fucked us up to be honest <laughs> In this season, I mean, we could have gotten way more than 50 goals. We probably could have reached 16 if um, we didn't get injured and all. But um, as you guys can see, we are all right. So I, I don't know what the fuck is happening right now. I think we are supposed to be in the Euros by now. I mean, it's freaking 2024. So, I mean, there should be Euros. I have no idea what the hell is going on. The European Championship. When is this match starting? The, the first match is in 20, 25th June. Alright, so I will make... I will do a separate... Whoops, sorry. I will do a separate episode for for the... Um, what do you call it? I'll do a separate episode for the um, Euros. I'll, I'll do a separate episode for the Euros. Yeah, the manager does pick me for the, the Euros. So, I mean, that's good. So anyway, separate episode, separate episode for the Euros. I mean, the entire Euros is going to be in that in the next episode, and it's most likely going to be the day, the one day from tomorrow. And uh, we have another train go here. I could have sworn that we did get a level up, but whatever. It's not really that important. We are an 85 rated player, and we can only grow so far from here. We are we are an 85 rated player and we have done so well in this season. Um, apart from the injury, if not for that injury, we have done a lot better. But we are ending the the episode with 50 goals and how many assists? Yeah, I've forgotten the number of assists. <laughs> Anyways, um, 50 goals and nine assists to our name. So 59 goal contributions in 80 appearances, 48 wins, and man, I mean. We are doing really fucking well. Let's see our squad rank right now. We are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We are ranked 7 in the squad. Um, And the squad is actually really good. Funny enough. It's actually really fucking good. The first team is really fucking good. But nonetheless, we are done with this episode. We are done with this season. So, um, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.